Thank you for joining me as I play Super Mario 64. It's an honor to play this legendary game for you, so kick back and enjoy my 100% playthrough. Thank you. Listen, Mario, I am as tired as anyone else that exists, okay? You, you can't just sit in the middle of the courtyard, the, the foyer, the whatever, the middle of the castle and just take a nap. We got work to do in Super Mario 64 on the Nintendo 64 and actual Nintendo 64. My name is Brian Saviano, a.k.a. as the name says below me, Mr. Hits His Head Into Walls. No, it's Bricks O'Brien. And uh, we're going to be playing Chip Off the Womps Block, Let's Pickle, and go for it. Uh, this is the second level that you most likely will play in Mario 64. A level that has since been remastered one time on uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2. But you wouldn't know that because I haven't done a playthrough of Mario Galaxy 2, at least to the level that, um, you know, we see that the, the level that it's based on. We, we haven't seen that yet. Uh, but this is in Mario Galaxy 2, and it was actually super cool to originally see it in 2010. But I um, haven't done a playthrough of that, so we'll eventually see that. We'll do Mario Galaxy 2, but I thought Super Mario 64 was a little bit more um, imminent for... I needed to get it done more, you know, sooner. It makes me so mad. We build your houses, your castles, we pave your roads, and still you walk all over us. Do you ever say thank you? No. Well, you're not going to wipe your feet on me. I think I'll crush you just for fun. Do you have a problem? Yeah, I do with that. So, okay. Big fact right here. Just go under there. And then you're going to butt stomp on him. Press the Z button. Or in your case, probably playing it on the Wii U. It's um, the, the right and left trigger. And, oh, he, I thought he damaged me right there. No? Okay, cool. Second time's a charm. And third time's a charm as always. And do the whoopity whoop. Do the scoobity scoop. Boom. There you go. No, crushed again. I'm just a stepping stone after all. I won't gravel or groove. Here, you win. Take this with you. So he has all the, the, the paving puns, I guess, at his disposal here. So thank you, Mr. Womp, for uh, sacrificing your star to us, your inner being. Because there is a star inside of all of us, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we can learn from Mr. Womp, who sacrificed his well-being. Uh, I can go to the door with the big star, but Bowser's just ahead. Ooh, so we can go to the Bowser battle if we chose, but we're not. Because that would require uh, skipping a lot of what the game has to offer. And you all know I ain't about that. Because we're going for a hundo percent. All 120 stars, baby. That's how we're doing this. And I think you can see, like, when I originally played this, I played this without any face cam or anything like that. I originally played it on the Nintendo Wii U. And I used the Wii U gamepad because I didn't have the, uh, the Wii U Pro Controller or the whatever, the classic controller. Um, I think you can clearly see the difference in the gameplay if you happen to remember or you looked back on it. Like, how well I'm doing, like, as I fall off the platform right there. But how well I'm doing in general, platforming-wise, compared to uh, the Wii U version. Like... With the Wii U uh, emulation port of this game, uh, there's a lot of uh, thing called an input delay. So between you being your character and you controlling Mario, right? Between what you actually input into the controller and what you see on screen doesn't happen as quickly as it should. So there's more of a delay between what you're actually inputting into the buttons and what's appearing on screen. So, realistically, in, in anything else, really, except video games, that doesn't really matter. Like in TV, if the, the words are ever so slightly, like, out of sync with what somebody is saying, maybe it's happening right now, shoot into the wild blue. That is, um, I think it's... This one, which is an awful star. This one got me stuck for years. Literally, like, almost a decade. But, um, let's see. Do I talk to you yet? Uh, yes, I do. Um, in anything else, it doesn't really matter. But with this type of game, where you have to have precision aim with what you do and, like, 
every single jump, every single everything matters. Like, it matters a lot. You can really notice it. Yeah, this one really confused me. Aim your cannon there, and that explodes. And you would have never, I mean ever, been able to figure that out without a guide. I don't know how on earth you could have understood that you need to shoot the wall, of all things, and grab the star. No idea. Absolutely no idea how, and that wasn't even the right star. But, um, sure, still applies. No idea how you would have been able to, to understand that star. Oh, that was number six. Okay. Um, so is it this one? Yep, it's the owl. Okay. Um, so the owl. Yeah, we got to go all the way up top, right? I thought that wasn't shoot. Because shoot into the wild blue infers that you need to use a cannon for something. But no, I think it is over here. I think I think we, we messed up a little bit. And why is this camera not behaving? Behave! I need you to go over here. Over here. I don't know how long Mr. Owl lasts. Oh! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nope, not gonna last. Nope, he's not gonna work. So, what I needed to do was go over there, but I guess that's not gonna work. I can reuse Mr. Owl and, um you know, get him again, but I think the actual star we need is the one that's over here. Um, but that one's a separate one. Oh yeah, it's like falling to the cage or something. You gotta aim over here and intentionally aim for that wall. And I guess that's aiming for the wild blue, but that doesn't really make sense either. So there you go, there's another star for you. Um, oh, that isn't shooting in the wild blue. Okay, cool. So. Uh, this level is a lot uh, more crammed in. Lots more going on in this area. Red coins on the floating aisle. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, so it has the same music as before as well. Um, hopefully the camera doesn't mess up this time and I can, I can actually use the owl properly, right? Please don't fly away forever, Mr. Owl. Mr. Owl, which is not a recurring character in Mario. Ep that was a burp. Wow, where did that come from? Um... Not a recurring character in Mario whatsoever, but what you want to do is watch for the shadow if you can help it. Actually, I can't. Oh, I missed it. I just missed it. Oh, boy. Okay. I thought I could get all the red coins. I thought they were all up top there, but on that platform, but they're not. So, okay. Okay. Yep, I messed that one up big time. First death, I think. So, cool. First time for everything, I guess. So, we'll dive right back into it, of course. Um, we'll go up the actual proper way. How's that? Instead of being all fancy schmancy, we'll do this the way, you know, the, the world intended for it, it to be. And I think there's... No, there's a red coin on top of the thwomp up here. Which, these blue thwomps have not been in a game, I feel like, in forever. Thwomps were originally blue, clearly is two and three is over here i don't think there's one over by um the cannon down there oh yeah so cool um and these guys are especially helpful uh the piranha plants even though they're a little bit of a pain right there but when you're going for the hunter coin uh star that is helpful because they have uh five coins in them they are blue coins so it's not just your standard uh, coin so that helps uh, get things up to very quickly. Yeah, I gave up on the last episode I thought I could get all the coins, but uh, I'll talk about it once I do the uh, the coin star again, but it's the way that the game uh, Renders and yeah, it's all technical Jargon for the most part you want to kick this down use the power of momentum here. There you go. Cool. So when the when the thing is like rocking forward, that's gonna be your best opportunity to um, actually hit that and make it um, go in your favor, pretty much. So let's go over here. Um, seven. Where's number eight? Um. Huh. Where's number eight? It's not right there. Well, we already got one that's right there. Huh. Meow, 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 meow. Uh, is there one by the thing? Well, the star is down there. 
Anyways. Um, let's see. I forget, actually. Did I really forget? Wow. That's surprising. I thought I would have known where that final uh, red coin would be. But nope. I guess we're not going for that either. Whatever. Um, is it inside a... Uh, here? No. Because none of them magically appear by doing this. Like, it doesn't magically appear. They're all actually on the map already. Um, because, and they don't come out of enemies either. They're already on the map. So... I don't know where the final red coin is. Unless I'm being very oblivious. right? Is it on top of you? I don't think so. There's only one on top of the womp, right? Yeah, there's only one on top of the womp. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna get crushed. Yeah. Ooh, I just barely... Just, just barely missed the crushing. Great. Um, how... I can't believe how... I just don't know where it is. Okay. It's not over here. Is it on top of here? No way. I don't think so. Is it? No? Okay, cool. I was gonna say, I'm like, there's no... I, I didn't think it was on top of there. Wow, I can't believe I made that one either. Where is this coin? You know why I didn't see it? It's down on this ramp over here. Oh, uh, I forgot about this annoying one. It's right there. There we go. Ah, yeah. That'll do it. Okay. It wasn't on an actual platform we can land on. That's why. Okay. So I had the right idea, I guess. But that one's a cheeky one. That was a little... That's a sneaker. That'll sneak up on you. I don't know how I feel about that one. That last coin will do you in. And we got 68 coins. I should have just went for the uh, the main uh, the the coin star. Fall into the cage island. That's the final one. So, um, well, not technically the final one, but one of the final ones. So let's go over here. Uh, we kind of have time to get the actual uh, coin star, don't we? Right? I think we do. If this is a final one, I don't remember if there's another one after this. I don't believe there is. And we got 68 coins last time by just playing the game, right? We didn't actually actively go search for coins, so I guess we can do them now, right? We got 16 already. So, uh, that little owl guy will wait around there for you. He won't actually go away. He won't disappear or anything like that. Uh, this one moves the second, uh, the fastest, I think, right? One of the fastest. Okay. Um, you get that, that green box over there is Metal Mario, but I don't know if Metal Mario is entirely useful or used at all, really, for this entire map. I don't believe so. So what is his point? I have no idea, actually. So, you know, eventually you can go after him, and that's totally fine, but, you know, I don't really see a need for it, right? So, oh, some platforming action right there, baby. There we go. Oh, yeah. So this is a lot easier doing this level compared to uh, Bomb on Battlefield. That would have been great if I actually got the, uh, the red coin right there, but nope. Not quite on there either. So actually, what's really helpful, and we got so many coins last time without even accessing this over here, what I was going for before, where you basically get a ton of blue coins, and that is not in Bomb on Battlefield, which really didn't help us. So, let's go over here, do this. If we go over here, there's 20 coins easy right there. So we're already up to 80, and we don't even have most of the, uh, what's it called? Uh, um, like, normal coins, right? Or the red coins, I should say. We don't have most of the red coins. So this is just, we're not even at the top of the main area yet. So... Yeah, this one's a lot easier. So, yeah, we'll just do this while we're here, right? Might as well do that. Now, we don't need to go for that red coin down below. Uh, between what's over in the caged area and uh, what's right here, I think we're going to be good. We're going to be A-OK. -okay. So, let's see. And these guys give you coins as well. Uh, I forget how many. Four or five? They give you a ton, actually. Nice. They give you five. Wonderful. We don't even need to go to the top of the map. And so, what happens when you do... 
the coin star is you don't have to restart the whole level. You can get this star and still continue on whatever mission you're doing. So we have 101 right here, which is awesome. So you collected 100 uh, stars or coins there to get the star. And now we can do the actual mission. And now, technically, uh, once we do this, we never have to come back here kind of ever again. Um, there's no other secret coins or any other secret anything. Achievements, unlockables, nothing like that at all. The idea is that you watch the shadow of this owl buddy here to see where you're going to land. But I don't think that's entirely possible given my uh, 16 by 9 display. So, you know, there we go. We got that uh, pretty quickly. Relatively quickly, I'd say. And just to make sure there's nothing else that we can do in that level, we're going to go save and continue. Go back into here. Yeah, I think that's it, right? Yep, that's it. So we never have to go back here ever again. We'll just exit out of here. So, with that being said, we're going to exit the course. And now we can go back into here. Of course we can. So, um, yeah, we'll do that. Sure. We'll unlock this. So you look up into here. You have the wing cap. The only thing you need to do is go into the bottom and get yourself the, um, the red block. You just press the red block and you will unlock the wing cap for every single level ever. But we already technically messed up, right? I think we already messed up fairly big time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, ah, there we go. Okay. What you need to do is glide all the way down and you can get the two fur here. Um, there is only one star in here. So if we do this very carefully, really, come on now. Come on now. Do I? Oh, I forgot about the time. Ah, okay. Forgot time was a thing. Okay. So now you save and now all these things are filled in. So there you go. Uh, you can fall down to your death here. And there you go. So what we're going to do is um, that other star there where you have the eight red coins. Go back, get the hunter coin in there. Then continue. I think that's what we're going to do. So I want to thank you guys and girls for listening, watching, and tuning in. We're up to 14 stars of 120. We're already 10% of the way done in just two episodes. We're making good time. So I hope you have a fantastic day. Talk to you lovely people of the internet next time. Peace out. Bye.